Turn now to Quebec. Hospital officials are providing an update on the deadly crash that killed two and injured several more in the community of Amki yesterday. Of course, our hearts are with the families. How about a word on the support? What has been put in place? We've been providing a psychological support at the site of the accident, and we will be continuing to do that. We did it yesterday evening to assist friends and family of the victims, and we will be continuing that today and tomorrow. In the next few days, we will also be providing support to anyone who needs it. Obviously, if anyone in the community needs that, they do have the option. Is this the most major event of your career? In 2021, we did have a difficult situation. But for the current team, we are not used to these types of tragedies. So it is something very rare. What happened in the emergency room? Can you tell us? Well, with mobilization of all troops, we've assigned a team to each of the patients. So day staff passed off to evening staff. And we brought in extra, they brought in extra staff, not necessarily emergency, but people who also work at home care and at centers. So everyone was very well taken care of. One person is still here for my team. Today, I don't know, but yesterday things were stable. What about patients that had to be evacuated by aircraft, those who were more seriously injured? There are care processes, and the best thing to would be to contact medical staff at those tertiary care centers. Of course, the air ambulance was there to transport those passengers. Of course, ambulance staff, medical staff, and nursing all contributed to a successful transfer. It's a difficult situation for anyone in Quebec, but how about in a small village such as this? It might even be harder. How are people dealing with it? People really know each other very well, given the sense that it is a very small city, everyone does have some kind of connection. So we need to ensure that we're able to respond to people who need the assistance now, and not just at this crisis, but in the coming days as well. It's, of course, people are going to be affected. Many people saw things, and we need to ensure that we can respond to their needs. For the time being, we reacted to the urgent crisis because we did have social workers on site. We were able to attend to several different people. But yesterday, we did not receive a lot of calls, but we expect to receive more today. We will add to our team as needed to be able to respond to people's needs. Is there also assistance for staff who are helping? Yes, of course. When there's an emergency, adrenaline is usually high. But during the day today, that adrenaline will be falling, and there will be people here who can provide support to those who are working in this crisis. So yes, we will be providing psychological assistance to those people. What are you being asked to do? Well, first of all, we're going to be screening, uh, identifying what people need for their situations. Then we'll be providing services for as long as the people need it or for as long as relatives need it. How many patients were transferred to Quebec? Quebec City. The six patients who were transferred to Quebec City that was by air ambulance. Were they all transferred to Quebec City looking at the options?
How does that affect personnel? We cannot say who the victims are, but regardless of their ages and regardless of the victim affected, it does, of course, affect relatives and the community. So we need to provide support and really identify symptoms of distress. What kind of impact have you and your staff noticed? Well, it's quite varied, as you can imagine. Uh, many people are traumatized. Some of the injuries included, unfortunately, hemorrhaging, bleeding, some fractures. So those people were sent to tertiary care centers for a more broad assessment. I can't comment on that right now. Why do patients have to be transferred to other regions? Uh, because of the nature of their injuries and uh, the instability of their injuries. Obviously, this is something terrible that happened. There were many witnesses, including children. What could a parent tell their child today? Well, not to hide the truth, to tell it like it is, and try to normalize certain symptoms. Sometimes people might be feeling high levels of anxiety, and it's important to let children know about that. For children, we are in contact with the school board to see how they can be helped in the coming days within the schools, but we'll also be looking at that with daycare centers and see how we can best assist them. If a child if a parent notices that their child is not doing well, they can always request assistance. I also think this reminds us of the importance of dealing with crises and terrible issues for children. Yes, of course, if there are symptoms that a child is not doing well, of course, assistance can always be requested. If you yourself or a relative does not seem to be doing well, then help is there. It's always the same phone line that's available 24-7, option one or two, and that is what should be used as a service. I'm very proud to be part of this team. Uh, what about the parents of the accused? Well, we're not in a position to answer that question. Thank you. Okay, we have just been getting an update on the tragedy that occurred yesterday in Amqui, Quebec. Two people are dead after a truck struck a number of pedestrians. We're learning this morning that a trauma support team is at the scene dealing with people. A team is dedicated for each patient at the hospital. A number of people, six of them, have been transferred by air ambulance to Quebec City.